to switch the scientific director with Ziva Fertility Centers. There is a very beautiful technique called surgical extraction of sperms that I'm going to be talking about. It gives a ray of hope to people who do not have sperms in their semen and uh, get a chance to become fathers in previous decades. There are many kinds of surgical extraction of sperms. We are going to be talking about them in detail. Let's try to understand the lack of sperms in semen. About 10 to 15 percent of infertile men do not have sperms in their semen. This condition is called as azuspermia. And of these 10 to 15 percent of infertile patients who do not have sperms, about 40 percent have obstruction. That is, there is some blockage in the transport system where the sperms are produced but they are not able to be transported in semen. So, 40% of those constitute obstructive azospermia. About 60% are because of non-obstructive azospermia. It could be a medical condition where the hormones are not being released properly due to which sperms are not being produced. This video is purely about surgical extraction of sperms in case of obstructive azospermia. So what are the goals of uh, surgical extraction? Well, we are trying to take sperms out. We are trying to keep them safe. That is for future use, we can freeze them and um, so on. And we also want to minimize the damage to testis, especially when it comes to chemotherapy and all. We want to extract these sperms and save them for future use. So what is involved? What are the different kinds of surgical extractions? There is a percutaneous type versus an open type. That is from the skin flap of the testis, sperms can be extracted or there is an open type. The testis is cut open and the sperms are retrieved. Then there is a biopsy or aspiration. When a piece of testis is given, it's called as a biopsy. Aspiration is when a fluid is uh, taken out. Then the area from where the sperms are extracted, it's uh, from the testis or is it from the epididymis or the vas difference. That's very important to understand where the sperms are being extracted from. Then there is the type of procedure. Is it microsurgical or conventional? That is what we are going to talk about. So why are we choosing one method over the other? Depends on where he's getting sperms for. It's very important. If he thinks that the sperms, he or she thinks that the sperms can be easily located, then a percutaneous procedure is performed. Where a local anesthesia has done a very simple procedure and sperms are extracted. If he or she, the urologist feels that the sperms may not be available percutaneously, then a deeper anesthesia is given and more exploration of the testicular area is done. So so that sperms can definitely be procured from some area of production. So depending on certainty or the likelihood of finding sperms, the urologist or the fertility specialist decides what kind of surgical procedure to perform. So what are the other tests needed? Definitely before we go for a surgical extraction of sperms, a complete hormonal evaluation is very important. That is how your urologist is able to decide whether surgical extraction will be beneficial or we will not be able to get sperms at all. So it's very critical that you uh, follow the instructions of your urologist or your fertility specialist. In addition to all this, if the extraction or the aspiration has failed, then a testicular biopsy is also sent where they assess if there is any production of sperms which is stopping at an immature stage. It is called as a maturation arrest or it is called as Sertoli cell syndrome. All these syndromes are also sometimes mentioned in biopsy assessment and that's when critical decision can be taken whether to go ahead with more treatment options or to give up and go for donor sperms. Once the sperms are reduced, what do we do with them? Well, many times we use them right away and sometimes we freeze them. It's very important that many patients want to first see if the sperms are present of the husband and then if present, then they want to go ahead with the treatment that is treatment of the woman to get the eggs out so that we can make more embryos from their sperms and eggs. So it's very important and that's our treatment of approach that we first analyze if the husband has sperms through surgical evaluation. If sperms are present, we freeze them. Then we evaluate his wife and start the treatment for IVF or ICSI. After the eggs are retrieved from the wife, the sperms that were frozen through surgical extraction removed and mixed with the oocyte and then embryos are produced and we aim to achieve pregnancy through this. So it's very important to decide the treatment approach and then we decide what to do with the sperms, whether to use them right away or to freeze them and use for in a later date. If you want to understand more, if you have been reported as azuspermia in your semen analysis, you want to understand your treatment options, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.